Raven. Apple. Raven. Apple. Apple and Raven had a problem. As co-editors, the girls would have to agree on a shared vision for the yearbook. And lately, they couldn't even agree to disagree. Apple. Raven. Why can't you two figure out how to be friends? There has to be a way. There is a way. In Wonderland, we would have a duel. A croquet duel. Ooh. Whoever wins the game becomes the senior editor. The other must relinquish power. I'll do it, if you will. You're on. Ballots at dawn! Apple, Raven, you know the rules. I make them up as you go along. Maddie, you are Raven's wicket keeper. Bunny, you are with Apple. The ball must pass through the wicket to score. Now turn, walk ten paces, and swing your mallet. Blade. Picture perfect. Too bad you wouldn't want a shot of that in the yearbook. Apple, why? <gasps> well, if you ask me, this is more memorable. Detention! It's all about showing us at our best. Like this shot of our faithful wicket keepers. More like wicket sleepers. <laughs> well, the winner will decide. Fine, let's finish this. A tie! Presenting the yearbook co-editors, Apple and Raven. That's it, I'm off to bed. See ya. I knew you could work things out. With you guys in charge, it's going to be the best yearbook ever. I'll do it. If you will. You're on. Perhaps the girls still don't see eye to eye. But at least they're on the same page. Hi, Rosabella. Hi, Rosabella. Rosabella Beauty, daughter of Beauty and the Beast, is a very special girl. She especially loves the beasts. Great and small, cute and, well, not so cute. <laughs> Rosabella, how can you kiss an aardvark? They're so cute. <gasps> All animals are beautiful to me, darling. Ugh, pick these sticks. Professor Rumpelstiltskin gave me detention. Now I have to spin straw into gold all afternoon, like some kind of Beast of burden? Yeah, like some kind of beast of burden. So unfair. Just a beast of <gasps> burden. Pesky! Have you girls seen my squirrel Pesky? He normally meets me after school, and this is so not like him. Calm down, we can help. People, we have an emergency. A beloved creature is missing. <gasps> Yeah, my gecko is missing, too. Okay, let's get organized. Break up into search parties. We meet back here at the flagpole in 20. <laughs> Anybody, any luck? I tried getting my animal friends to help find the missing animals, but they're missing, too. We have to use our heads. Or our noses. Follow me. <gasps> it's not what it looks like. Okay, it is what it looks like, but Rumpelstiltskin wants 20 bales of hay spun into gold. How was I supposed to do it alone? You've crossed the line, Fable. Creatures aren't your servants. Pesky! Oh, I was worried sick. <laughs> I guess you think I'm a bad fairy. I see some good in you. Well, I see double detention! Your punishment is to clean out the unicorn stables for a month! <laughs> oh, curses! Let's see some school spirit! 
try Castle on! <laughs> Your spirit outfits are the best of the best. Cedar, today we should focus on the true best of the best. Can you snap some pics for the very last chapter of our yearbook? The tri is the sporting event that ends the school year. Here we have track and sheen. And after training hard all year, Cerise Wood takes the championship. Hunter Huntsman is a favorite in archery. Can't beat that. Best of the best. And the last event of the competition, Extreme Croquet. I am so happy we decided the yearbook should show the most perfect and imperfect moments of the year. Students, it's time to grow our Ever After annual yearbooks. Anyone who wants to witness the planting of this year's e-corn should hurry up to the legacy orchard. <laughs> We conclude with the ceremonial planting of the e-corn, traditionally planted at high noon. The e-corn, please. Apple? Raven? Is there a problem? Oh, no problem. Where's, Where's the e-corn? I thought you, you had, had it. it. Oh, no. We left it on the bleachers. I have an idea. Got it. Tell me you girls lost it. It'll be planted in a matter of moments. Perfect. I love it. What a great year. Fine work, yearbook committee. We hope future classes will love reading this yearbook as much as we loved making it. Gather round, children. This yearbook was from a very special class, including the famous Apple White and Raven Queen. We'll be at the Forest Fest in no time. I thought this trip would be a fun distraction for you. I hope I was right. You know what? I'm going to stop worrying about Dexter. I figure whatever happens, happens. Meanwhile, I'm going to have some fun! What was that? Ah, not fun! Not fun at all! Maybe it's the three bears. That doesn't sound like any bears I know. On something. My heart! Look, there they are! Apple, Raven, Hunter. What are you guys doing here? Cerise told Cedar that someone saw you guys in the dark forest. Uh, that was kinda my fault. I sent you the wrong way. But how could you do such a thing? You can't blame a girl for following her destiny, huh? <laughs> Spoiling people's fun is kinda my thing. But then I saw how you guys handled everything. How nice you were to that disgusting biggle woggle. Hey, I have feelings, you know. And if I made you late, well, I guess I'm. I'm, uh. Sorry? sorry? Yeah, that. I'm sorry you missed your party. But they haven't. I am the Fairy Queen. You cannot find the Forest Fest, it finds you. And all of you may enter as my special guests. <laughs> Join us. All this niceness is so gonna trash my reputation. <laughs> oh well, I can always be bad again tomorrow.
the beginning of the school year, and the traditional field trip to the Legacy Orchard. <laughs> Woohoo! Fastest right here. Ahem. With that time? <laughs> I don't think so. Students! I know I don't have to remind you to be on your best behavior as we enter the Legacy Orchard. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, how exciting! Yay, how exciting. Today, you'll be able to read yearbooks from untold generations of students who came before. I've heard of this. Each tree carries the yearbook stories from a different class. <gasps> okay, this is actually kind of cool. The students spent the morning reading about the high school adventures of their forebearers. Tales from the youths of future kings and queens, heroes and villains that began at Ever After High. Just like them, except they did not choose their own Ever After. <gasps> Boys, no running! And do not use that yearbook as a book ball! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Even the kids from Wonderland were enchanted by yearbook entries from bygone eras. Attention, students! I hope you have had a story-filled field trip. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, it was so much fun! Students, at the end of this school year, you will plant a new seed in this orchard, an acorn that will grow into the newest story tree. Representing the stories and adventures of your class. Yes. Yes. Who will volunteer to be the editor for this class's very special yearbook? Oh, we, we volunteer. And so, Apple and Raven were on a path to capture the best of times. And the worst of times. To collect the stories of their year to share with future generations. Fall and ever after high. And time for the cooking class's big fall bake sale. Treats and sweets! Perfect. I could watch cooking class all day. So clean, so efficient. <gasps> the perfect picture. We really need more. <laughs> Perfectly imperfect. That's more like it. This is for the yearbook. People would remember us like this. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> the bake sale. They need more gingerbread upstairs. Like now. But we only have one left. I have an idea. A duplication spell. How can we help without using Raven's magic? Uh, nothing personal. It's just not always, you know, um... <laughs> uh, safe. Hey, I got this. Order in the kitchen. If you are here, you are here to help. It was the most successful fundraiser ever after. But only the beginning of Raven and Apple's 
disagreements over the yearbook. Winter at Ever After High. And the students are spending the day enjoying the snow and ice. Ice dancing is Ashlyn's way of celebrating the beauty of the season. Little did she know, this peaceful pageant was about to turn perilous. <laughs> Sorry, Snow Bunny! How about that, Duchess? Not up to my standards. Now this is a perfect, peaceful moment to capture for the Ever After yearbook. I'll admit, it is pretty. Pretty boring. <laughs> I need a challenger! I don't know, Holly. What if I wipe out? I'm new at this. Just go for it, Poppy. Remember, if you surrender to fear, then fear wins. Then I choose my Ever After. To be unafraid! Oh, oh, oh. oh it is on! Poppy O'Hare! Anything you can do, I can do better! Oh, oh no! Poppy! our share of good luck today. Now that's a perfect yearbook moment. I couldn't agree more. It's the first day of spring at Ever After High. Love is in the air. And so is pollen. Oh. <laughs> I'd better get my inhaler. Who'd think a little hay fever could cause such big trouble? Huh? Cupid must have lost these awesome bow and arrows. I'd better find her. Hello, targets. Cupid probably won't mind if I try one shot. Bullseye! Huh? No way! Third time's a charm. Little did Hunter know, Cupid's arrows are heart-seeking. Love is a funny thing. <laughs> you never know where it will strike. Thank you so much for helping out on the yearbook in your free period, you guys. Great work. I hope you're as excited as I am. <laughs> Duck! Whoa, this place has gone lovesick. It's like a plague of loviness. <gasps> Much better. <gasps> Hunter has something of yours, Cupid. You're welcome. <gasps> Hunter! Um, couldn't you use your arrows to love potion everybody back to normal? You can't stop love. It's a force of nature. <gasps> but, oh, I have an idea! Listen up! You've all been infected with love fever. <laughs> Lucky for us, there's lots of kinds of love. These mood roses should help. Mood roses are an amazing flower only cherubs like Cupid can grow. They'll change color according to what kind of love the recipient really and truly feels. Yellow means friendship. 
Red means romance. Pink means meant to be together forever after. Mom and Dad up doing errands. It's my first time narrating all by myself. Can you narrate quieter, Brooke? Sorry, Kitty. There goes Bunny. She's meeting Alistair as a favor for Apple to get a list of who's in the chess club for yearbook. It's also the day of Bunny's first kiss. Except it's never gonna happen. Those two are way too deep in the friend zone. Let's see what happens. Aha! Uh -huh. Check. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, Alistair. Sorry, I, I thought this is where the chess club meets. I am the chess club. We're light on members. Want to join? <sighs> Your move. Yeah. <gasps> oh, sorry, I think I saw a rat. <laughs> Kitty, don't ruin the moment. In fact, let's just turn this story back a few pages. Hey, you can't do that. I just did. <clears throat> Bunny arrived at the gazebo. Aha! Check. Check. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, Alistair. Sorry, I, I thought this is where the chess club meets. I am the chess club. We're light on members. Want to join? <sighs> Your move. See? These two wouldn't smooch if you shoved them at each other. Oh, good idea. Just then, it began to rain cats and dogs. Mostly cats. Excuse me. Um, I I better go before I catch cold. But uh -huh. let's try this chapter once more from the top. Bunny arrived at the gazebo. Aha! Uh -huh. Check. Oh, hi, Bunny. Hi, Alistair. Sorry. I, I thought this is where the chess club meets. I am the chess club. Want to join? <sighs> Your move. Checkmate? Uh, um, you win. <laughs> Up for another game? I've seen better kisses on an envelope. When we let the story unfold naturally, it turned out just perfect. Hey! They told you everything was waiting for you They told you everything was set in stone But now you're feeling like a different ending Sometimes you gotta find it on your own It's an open